Hey, isn't that song uh, true, guys? Everything's gonna be all right, right? Yeah, yeah, let's give it up for everything being all right. Yeah. Ladies oh. and gentlemen of all genders. Happy Veterans Day, guys. Thank you so much for coming out. You're a beautiful crowd. There is one ugly bastard back there. I'm not going to worry about the ugly bastard. Yeah, I want you to know that my voice is uh, losing my voice tonight. Hey guys, welcome to Gypsy Moon. And welcome to the Veterans Comedy Showcase. Oh my God, I've met so many funny people today. That's why, my, uh, that's why I'm losing my voice. My name's Doug. I'm going to open up the show. Thank you. Let's uh, let's first give it up for Gypsy Moon for hosting this very very special event. The Oaks family, Ronnie, Tina, Corey, Faith, and all of your underlings. And I uh, want to take a second here to first of all thank Chris Palmatessa, this gentleman right in front of me, for coming up with the show uh, about a month ago. Chris messages messages me up. I'm high, by the way. Um, Chris messages me up on Instagram and says, hey man, can you help me uh, put together this show at Gypsy? Uh, I've got all of that comics. And I said, Chris, like I didn't know you knew so many comics that were also animal doctors. We can thank them for their service, you know? I mean, without their selfless sacrifice, all the nation's animals would be sick and dead. And then Chris said, no, Doug, I'm talking about military veterans. And I was embarrassed for a second, man. And I was like, oh, military vets, that's, that's better, man. We can thank them for their service, too. Even more than the animal doctors, who we should also thank. And then Chris said, Doug, are you high? And I said, Chris, of course I'm high. Anyway, like, that's how the show got started tonight. Now, I am not a veteran, uh, but I do work for Uber Eats, so you're welcome for my service. I think we all know who was there from last night at 1 a.m. when you wanted tacos. Now, you could argue that I can only be free to work Uber Eats in a uh, free country, and um, you'd be right. I really shouldn't have compared Uber Eats to military service. I feel like I was a little retarded. Uh, however, my dad uh, was a veteran. Uh, he can't be here tonight. God bless his soul. It's not what you think. Uh, he's just dead. Anyway, my uh, dad, Henry Sheridan, uh, served in the armed forces all of his adult life. He worked in military intelligence. Uh, he used to work at NSA up in Maryland. They're listening to us to they're, they're listening to us right now, by the way. The NSA. Um, you know, like as a boy, I was always curious about what he did. And whenever I asked him, he always said the same thing. Uh, son, if I told you I would have to kill you, and your mom will not let me kill you. One more interesting story about growing up military. I was, we were stationed uh, at Schofield Barracks for three years when I was in middle school. And when you're on base as a military family, you kind of uh, make friendships and bonds with other military families. And our best friends at Schofield Barracks for three years was a military family called the Flynn's. Have you guys ever heard of General Michael Flynn? That one. That one. They were our best friends for three years. We used to take vacations together. I'm very good friends with Mike Flynn. It's weird. It's like being friends with Skeletor. You know? I almost feel like in danger of telling jokes about him. But like I remember those, we take vacations to the beach and look up at the clouds and see shapes, you know? Little Mikey Flynn Jr. is there. Like he's like, oh, I see a duck in that cloud. And I looked at a cloud and I saw an angel. I look over at uh, General Michael Flynn. I say, what do you see, Mr. Flynn? And he points at a cloud and says, 
I see the liberal elite drinking baby's blood. Ha! Ah, I really should have known back then. I really should have known back then he wanted to do great things. Anyway, uh, guys, if you'll indulge me, uh, please give it up for my favorite veteran, my dad, Major Henry Sherman. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Guys, how about those uh, midterms? Did you guys vote? Ah, I, I, I did not vote. Um, I did, however, spend all day at the polls intimidating voters. Who did I intimidate? Every single one of them. I don't have like a party allegiance or anything. I just get a real kick out of intimidating voters. So I just stood by the line and tried to look like a tough guy, my arms crossed, just like. <laughs> Not really intimidating uh, anybody in particular. They're like, what? And I'm like, you know. Anyway, I realize that every vote counts. Maybe I should have voted. But I don't think enough credit is given to the good folks going to the polls intimidating voters. <laughs> Starting to think I should have brought jokes. <laughs> like. It was a comedy show. I should have known. I heard jokes are really popular comedy shows. Oh! Banana. Got the man off stage. I brought jokes. Yay! I, I used to be stand-up comedy. You guys want to hear some jokes? Yeah. Uh, I don't have medical insurance, so I'm looking for a friend with benefits. <laughs> yeah. I have an Uncle Dick. He's kind of an asshole. <laughs> Say what you want about Hitler. You know what I mean. I hired a gay lawyer because he agreed to work pro boner. <laughs> oh, a lot of folks with boners in here? I'm sorry. <laughs> I didn't realize. I ordered a fidget spinner on Amazon. They sent me a midget spinner. Amazon has everything. I, I, I jerk off to sheet to help me sleep. A lot of people count them. That's more effective the way I do it. I heard they're making a Back to the Future 4. Marty does a whole lot of time travel and has to come back and tell Doc, Doc, there's a side effect of time travel. Parkinson's disease. <laughs> Too soon? Oh, he's not even dead. Way too soon. <laughs> I got one more joke on a card. You guys want to hear my last joke on a card? Hey, uh, do you ever think, uh, you guys know who Post Malone is? Do you guys ever think uh, Post Malone's parents ever like sit back and reminisce about the good old days pre-Malone? <laughs> yeah, those are my jokes. Um, so we got a wonderful show, guys. We got actual comedians here. Um, I, I want to give a special shout out to some people who wanted to be here but couldn't. Uh, Mr. Phil Wakefall, Rob Collert, Valerie Saldain, and Vicki Wilson. Uh, apparently they have all joined the Space Force and are doing a tour of duty at the Death Star. It's ridiculous. I think they're my savers. And let's give it up again to our bartenders there. Show them a lot of love. Uh, we wanted to make sure to give you a free show tonight. Uh, and aside from showing some love to your bartenders, we're also accepting donations for the Warriors Angels Foundation. And it's a very important foundation for these, uh, these veterans here. Um, the uh, Warrior Angel Foundation specializes in treating veterans with traumatic how could you guys speak up while I'm talking about this shit? What do you hate American shit? The, the Warrior Angel Foundation, folks. The Warrior Angel Foundation specializes in treating veterans with traumatic brain injury. Uh, Chris will be giving you a little bit more info on how to donate. And we're going to have this uh, bucket here that you can donate in. And I'll make sure it gets to the charity. And I won't. I will not spend it on beef jerky and hookers. Uh, we're not going to guilt you into donating, guys. All right? Um, having said that, I will say this. Uh, if you do not donate, you are kind of indirectly saying that you are for 
traumatic brain injuries and veterans. Do you want to be that guy? It's no big deal, guys. We're all going to be judged by our uh, creator, Jesus Almighty, in the end. And uh, no pressure. <laughs> now, folks, uh, we got a great show tonight. Thank you so much for being here. I'm, uh, I'm high. I'm really impressed that I was able to get through my shit. Um, now, to tell you more about the Warrior Angel Foundation, let me introduce to the stage a guy. The man behind the show, a great comedian, a U.S. Marine vet, and my good friend, Chris Palmatessa. Number five.